Alright, my second box. Ideally, I won't buy anymore, but I can't hold myself true to that. <laughs> Quar would not buy boxes, that's funny. <laughs> well, in theory, we also didn't buy these ones. We just traded magic cards for them. Yup. Lots and lots of magic cards. Barber, uh, I have five unclaimed boxes. I will keep that in mind. I will most definitely keep that in mind. And in mind. ooh, the dragon chick. That's kind of cool. Unless of course Ryan decides not to pick it up. Who Riser? Yeah. Riser's gonna buy all three of his. Assuming there's a playmat with him and whatnot. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's let's go deep. I'm just gonna pull out the packs this time. Slide one. Slide two. Guys, Slide three. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. All right, all right, all right. I appreciate it, but let's just let's just go deep. Okay. Balls deep. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the only way to go. Oh, come on. Start from the bottom. Started from the bottom. Now I'm here. No. <laughs> Dude, I'm 355th in the United States of America. Hera, we're gonna see a lot of her. It, she's like the Don Quixote. No, no, no. She she's the March Hare. Yeah, her March Hare. Yeah. She is the March Hare. Yeah, into, is it, uh, oh, not Lancelot, because it says Uncommon. Uh, Foil Rules Memorial, and we have, ooh, I like this guy. Uh, Color a Born Dragon. Four mana, eight, eight, flying, haste. Oh, yeah, so good and limited. Let's take that over there. Ooh, I see something fancy. I don't think it's a stamp, but I think it's a super rare. Oh. We have Dark Resert. Foil Greenstone. And we have, oh, I could barely even tell that's foil, but it actually is. Yeah, his foil is kind of like... That's like, Arthur Pendragon, our limited bomb. Uh, oh my god, yes. is he ever. Right. Arthur Pendragon, becomes rules, stupid. Yeah, rules clarification in case anyone was wondering about that card. Yes, it means you must attack into it. You can only attack into it, though, if he's tapped or you have target attack. Because of the way that tar attacking works. Now, we found that out when we were playing. Now, if he's just chilling there, unless I have target attack, I can't attack into him going by the rules. Correct. So you have to actually, you, you have to tap him, probably use his ability on himself to just wreck creatures. But, like, literally, as I'm sitting there playing against Brian, he's got his dude and tapped. I'm like, I attack? He's like, you have to attack Arthur. I'm like, no, I don't. I'm going to target attack. Bird? Water? Ooh, little match girl. Always happy to see her. Is it a stamp? No. Foil, though. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that's not like a bad card or anything. Ah, yeah. no. Not at all. No. We have Percival. Firestone. Not to be confused with the tires. And Ziz. Go, go, Sparrow, evolve into Firo. Pretty much. Ziz, not to be confused with Zs. Zs, oh my god. Zs. They cost the same mana. They might as well be the same card, right? Yeah. We have uh, Reco Recollection of Dystopia. The cat. Meow. Meow. Yeah. Meow. And a foil grand cross. This card, every time I see it foil, it just gets harder and harder to really see the artwork in it. I swear. But if you look deep enough, there actually is a cross there. With a little penciled in Alice on the bottom right. I love how this set has like good Alice and like evil Alice. Yeah. You know what I don't like about this the set? The Beast Queen's counterattack. Do tell, Jack. Half the rares are reprints. Yep, Levitine. Into, hey look, just like I said, we're going to see a lot of her. This is uh, Hera, also known as the March Hare, also known as the Goddess of Jealousy. Also known as... Why can't I get a god bag? Yeah, or, or an Uber. That's it. Gwen. Reprint. The new Excalibur goes very well with our good Alice for fairies. And the Barrier of Flame. Not a stamp, though. That's a card we want to see a stamp of and just yeah. rock burn spells. And maybe summon a demon while we're at it. Who knows? 
Lots of Cthulhu's. We got a couple Lots demons. A couple demons going strong in this game. Like, I love Ebony Devil. Yeah, that's not a bad card. We have Lancelot the Chick. Ah, uh, Prissia. Beast Queen in hiding. Just keep running, girl. We have a stamped Grand Cross. Ooh, nice. It's pretty good. Two mana. It's not an instant, though. That's yeah, what really gets at me. Super awkward. Two mana, RFG a creature. Not an instant. Like, that would be the one thing stopping me from playing that card. But again, if you're playing Alice, you more or less gotta play that card. We have regular Barrier Flames into Old Excalibur. Into. We have. I'm not gonna say his name. Drinker of Death. Also known as Pidgeotto. He evolves into Pidget. Alright, now if I know Bestwick, I think this is one of the packs that he thinks is super swag. So. We'll open it up and just see. Surprisingly yeah. enough, Young Knight of Gloria, also really good and limited in the current format. It's the one drop 3 3 with target attack. And if your opponent is playing fairies, you target attack all their fairies and they cry. And you give the. Here's our friend March Hare. <laughs> the Knight's Pride or whatever that gives them. Oh, yeah. Stupid. Change the world, Orb of Illusions. Just what Reflect and Refract needs. And we finish that pack up with Foil Jeanne d'Arc, Shadow Princess of Purity. There are so many contradictions in that name, I swear. Just using Shadow and Purity together? Ugh, I don't, I don't think so. Justice of God Sword. Blowout. Dark Resert, the Dying Shadow. Fire Magic Stone Foil. And a Foil, Holy Ground of the Four Sacred Beasts. Alright, here we go into step two. We have Dark Machina. I already got a stamp of this, and I believe Jack also pulled a stamp of this. So, hey, we got plenty of this. But again, three mana for a 4-4. Four, four, but more importantly, Tutors of Regalia. Leviathan. And the final word. I feel as though the final word should say... Like, split second, and just everything stops. But, now nah, you give a blocker plus 10, plus 10. It kind of kills something. It just, you need to block with it. Ah, light sprites. Again, the Knight of Gloria just wrecks this thing. But, that's a different story. Oh, where do we go? We Is have... Uh, yes. Okay. Barrier of Shadows. Stop those regalia now, everybody. Storm into Storm. Fire Magic Stone. Into what's pretty cool about this. We have uh, Stamped Change the World. You need those, right, buddy? Do we already have one or two of those? Uh, Riser opened one of those. Did he get a stamp? He got the stamp one? He got a stamp one. I got two regular ones. Gotcha. Yeah, if we want to play Reflect and Refrain, or whoever wants to play her needs like a place in those. Yeah, ideally, the more stamps. The more stamps you have, the more wins you get. Oh, there's a stamp in this one. Oh, tell me it's a gray stamp. Wouldn't that be beautiful? So we have... Nah, I don't think so. We have, again, Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto. Uh, we have the Water Magic Stone. We have... Ooh, that's cool. Uh, Stamped Shadows Memoria. Ooh. I got that one That actually of looks really cool. Just it does look cool. The ball just levitating in the air. I like the Memoria stamp. They all look good like that. They put a lot of effort into making those look cool. And again, unless... They're, like, redoing the true Magic Stone rule, and it's just, like, special Magic Stones are actually legendary. Yeah. You can have as many of those as you want. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be one of those things where they're probably just going to change. Um, we have Grand Cross again. You can, like I said, on this one, it's a little easier to actually see the cross. And you have, it looks like a penciled-in Alice. Greenstone. Uh, we have, even though Jack already has one of these, uh, Stamp Dark Faria, Shadow Ooh. Prince of the Ebony. Again, two mana five five or four mana five five with a these you Stone to Death on top. Because like the dual lands are special magic stones. Gotcha. 
So it's different than a true magic zone. So like, like the second the dual ants actually rotate out, like everyone's gonna be rocking like these special magic stones or something like that. Probably. And again, there's no reason to not rock them right now. Uh, Glorious Castle Town. Gain life to get value. We have Maritime Lookout. You know, I don't think I've actually seen this card yet. I. There you go, I've Jack. Uh, two mana, five five. Yeah. So it works with Valentina. Yeah. When this card enters your field, return target Fire Resonator to its owner's hands. Ooh. I bounce Lance a lot. Sure, it has haste and comes back, but you got to pay the two mana for it. Yeah. Instant. Oh my God. No, even better. Oh, that's sideboard because yeah. the Valentina's dumb. Oh, yes, I definitely want that foil. Take it. All yours, buddy. Thank you, sir. Is she common or uncommon, actually? I'm curious. Common. Ooh. Here we go. Guinevere. Hey. Jealous Queen. She's smoking. I am jealous of her. She has a nice rack. Light. And we have our foil, Avacyn's Pilgrim. Yeah. It's, it's a wind sprite. I'm telling you, green white with like Arthur and ramp into Arthur with just boost spells. Turn three Arthur in standard could be really annoying, but that might also be one of those things where like you just do that and you beat Lance a lot. Especially like if you get an untap and then on your next turn you just pump him with all the pump spells and tap him and yeah, like, pretty much they're swinging into like a the Overlord's game. Baptism, Foil Kitty, nice. <laughs> I love it. Foil wind sprite. Foil water sprite. Water sprite. I think collectively that is our third foil water sprite. I know two of them I opened. I know Jack got one. Yeah, you can have it if you want to make fairies. That's fine. Even if I don't make fairies, I just want it. That's fine. Take it. <laughs> but yeah, like you pump Lancelot, so he's like a twenty-four, like thirty. Oh, and then you just like flash. Oh my god, the the. Oh, that was dumb. Recollection dystopia. Yeah, dude, that could be like the new blowout. Yeah. Foil Lightstone. Nice, man. Oh, man. See, this is nice. And between us, we just opened a bunch of these. Like, I want them for my deck. Ooh. I love this one Unlimited. Double Fire Breathing for one mana. It's a three mana 6-6 six, six Flyer. Yeah. It's, that card's it's, really good. It's good. When I say Double Fire Breathing, obviously that means one red gives it plus two, plus oh. Dude, that's crazy to think that it has, like, Double Fire Breathing. Yeah. Especially I... when you can pump all your mana into it, then untap, then attack. Yeah. Invasion Ship, Golden Hint. We have just, just regular Dark Faria. It's just regular. Hey! That actually looks really nice. Oh, is that the stamped black? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Stamped Recollection of Dystopia. Dude, that is sick. I think Little Jack opened Ooh. one of those day one. Little Jack probably did. Yeah, he had a hard on. Like, even though he, like, will trade his left nut for, like, any card. He seems to be getting, like, a lot of the cards he actually just wants, like, magically. Which is kind of weird, because that usually never happens. Yeah. I swear to God, if he opens, like, an Uber Rare... You know he's I'm going like, to. I'm Him and Joe, like, seriously. Oh, I see something cool. So we have the Beast Queen's Counterattack. We have just regular Sylvia, which is good, because I don't actually have one of these yet. Even though Riser's got his, and Jack's got, um, his cool stamp one. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. What, that her red taps her green? No, that her name on this side is quite literally the same name on this side. Because you know how all the cards that refer to a ruler refer, say, if it's this or this, and it's both names of it? Yeah. Every time I saw her card, it said the same thing. So I'm like, oh, crap, she's got to be on yeah. a specific side? No, her name actually just doesn't change as she flips. Yeah, she's... You can chill there, and we have our foil metamorphose. Ooh, it's candy. Um, so I'm still waiting on my stamp ruler, along with two more stamps after a stamp ruler. Dude, imagine if you get a stamp Valentina. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Little Jack will be literally up your ass. Oh my god. Uh, Gwen. Nice. And his confidence. Smile. Smile bright. The Unfathomable. Oh, let me see that card. I wanna, Here you go. I wanna look that up. Yeah. No, I think, it, was he talking? Oh, he was talking about that one. He was talking about this one. He was talking regular this one. Foil Dark Melgus. Four Ooh. mana, ten, ten. Or five mana, ten, ten. Do a thousand damage to a creature when he enters. Yeah, but we all know. We all know, Jack. <laughs> there she is. Maritime Lookout again. Boom! Alright, so full art of this card 
Median is 65. Can Regular is 25. Gossip Passion. I think I've Purple opened stone. a couple full arts of these. I might have a full art of that. Ooh. We have just the foil Dark Faria. Looks pretty good next to her counterpart. She just looks like a like a black magician or something, Dude. considering and she's got a she's got a purple sword. Why though? Why? Why is the full art sixty five dollars? Because the set is just released. People are gonna charge whatever they want for their cards. <laughs> Dude, full art Sylvia is forty five. I don't wanna know what the Barrier? super rare is. We have Taylor, Ziz, and we have uh, yeah. Nimu the Fairy. Get back your overpowered uh, protection of fairy spells with her, and just keep on keeping on, on. Once again, a card I really you? like, Fear the Lake. It's not even a price yet. Well, obviously. We have another birdie. This one's the Eraser of Wind. We have our Foil purple stone, even though it looks pretty darn green to me. Mm -hmm. And we have just a regular, the Overlord Baptism. Again, your Valentina is just going to pretend she's other people and probably kill someone. Oh, there's a stamp in this one. I saw it. Ooh, nice work. Oh, I think it might be a reflect refrain. That'd be hilarious. Or maybe it's a Valentina. Oh, nope, it's neither of the things I said. <laughs> oh, sad panda. We have Holy Ground of the Four Sacred Beasts into our purple stone into stamped. 65 bucks. So according to the internet, this car is currently $65. Now again, don't take that for what it is. Today is release day. It's obviously probably a lot of baloney. But hey, I'd be cool with that. If I could get rid of that right now, I would gladly take 30 bucks for it. Dude, we should just go back to Canton and be like, hey, we got these. Yeah, but... Um, I don't know what they do for Force of World cards. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's a stamp. I should put that in the corresponding pile. So, again, looking for two, two more, more stamps, one of them being a ruler. Ooh. Instant speed reanimate for a turn. Percival. Sacred Beast Memoria. Young Knight of Gloria. Yeah, and that card is a lot better than I thought it was. Yeah. It Joe is. was running like straight target attack against my red white flyers, and it it was upsetting. Like I couldn't play cards turn one or two because he had that turn one. I'd rather he didn't kill my fairies because I was trying to um uh Gwyver them in or get Gwyver out of it. Lancelot. Shadows Memoria. Dark Alice is familiar. The card seems fine and all. It's just, it doesn't fly. Yeah, it's really weird. It's it a shadow wings. bat. Bats fly. Like, yeah. it's not like it says shadow penguin. It says shadow bat. Yeah, it should fly. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty right now. Oh, there's a stamp on this one. I saw it. Well, I don't see gray in the back, so it's not <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble. My bubble. Is Jean d'Arc? Stamped Jean d'Arc. Oh, God, please, no. Stamped Jean Elizabeth. It happened to me. Elizabeth. It's gonna happen and to you too. we have uh, stamped the Beast Queen's counterattack. Ooh. Now, so the next stamp I open should be my stamp ruler. Now, maybe I'll be lucky, and again, we haven't opened the Uber, but that could be like the eighth. You know what you I mean? You know what I'm really curious is? is cause the Uber... Bye, curious. All that too. But uh, the Uber I saw them open on YouTube was from a pre release set. Like, mm. pre release box. Could be. We'll find out. And we do have some more boxes Invasion Ship Golden Hen, Fairies Memoria, and our ooh, Blowout Trap Card, Flash Demon, Flash of Demon Sword. That card's so good. That, that card, I had one in my pool, didn't end up running it because I didn't. Even though I still ran 21 cards, and I think someone got me with that like once. I had that day one, and yeah, just day one, and I ran it, and it was a blowout. I never got to flip my J rulers. Valentina Zila. I haven't actually seen this yet. Uh, seen one mana, one five. 
Banish this card. Your Jay Ruler can't be targeted by spells or abilities. Huh, not, not the worst card. No, that's pretty good. Jean d'Arc. Ruler's Memoria. Let's play Regalia, and it's all yours. Ooh, here we go. Oh, that's the wrong pile. Foil Alice's Little Supply Force. I love that card. See, this is something I might just put into my deck with, like, the whole were-rabbit swag going on, and just they get stupid big, or, like, I need to loot again. Yeah. Where you make one of your dudes flying and super big and you're sad. swing it again. Well, we have Addison Pilgrim up front. Dude, I didn't see a single one of those like pre release weekend. Yeah, not till like the end of it. Uh holy ground of the four sacred beasts. Into unyielding flames memorial. Okay, so if you get this turn one, or if you haven't done damage to your opponent, it enters play rested. But hey, taps for red, and it also makes only resonators, though, deal an additional 200 damage if you tap it for that. So it's like mill set. Yeah, it's like mill set, but mill set for red and tap can hit J rulers. Yeah. Uh, Laying the foundation. And it doesn't come into play tap. Two mana instant, draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your main deck in any order. Brainstorm. It's It's a two mana brainstorm. But hey, it's foil. And well, it's a common. This is like a 40 card deck, so I mean. Yeah. Drawing might, three cards is. Might good. not be a bad addition for the Valentina deck. No, it might not be. That looks uh, good foil. Water sprite. Oh. Oh. Uh, I went right to that because I saw it and I'm like, oh, it's black and white now. It's it's just a regular Dark Alice, but it's stamped. Dude, that is which is pretty cool. Third stamped Dark Alice. It is our third no, stamped Dark. Fourth. Is it fourth? Bruce, Little Jack, me, and now you. Mm. She fits in nicely there, though. Yeah. Behind it, Waterstone, and behind that we have Beat of the Phoenix Wings. Yeah, see, that's what I meant. Like it just says Sylvia's one name on there, yeah. so I'm like, it's it's got to be the same on both sides. Yeah. All right, three packs left. Theoretically, no more stamps, no more rulers. Mm -hmm. But, you never know. We could get lucky and get a god pack. God pack could be a thing. Uh, and we still don't know how the Ubers work. Grand Cross, Yellowstone National Park, and Unseen Pressure. I like this is good early game. Yeah. And I didn't even realize it was an instant, but one black mana. Destroy target resonator with four or less attack. I will gladly turn one your Guinevere. Uh, yeah. Gladly. <coughs> and the fact that its attack is four or less, like, doesn't matter how big it's... Oh, you wanted something about funny about turn one that I yeah. realized we did, I did wrong in a draft or two? What? If my opponent goes first, and I'm and I'm playing Abdul, yeah. if I turn one, kill his one drop, I don't get to recover that turn, and I can't call stone turn one, because there is no recovery phase turn one for both players. For both players, for or both just the players, went first. Both players. Ooh, yeah. That makes it a little less. Beat awkward. of the Phoenix Wings into Vivian, and ooh, there we go. Now I have two shadow doppelgangers. Just look at that shadow Yuri, just going at that Yuri. Oh, I love it. The that artwork is, is cool amazing. Card. Goes right into salt box. Yup. I think so, at least. It should. Come on. Got Let's back. get there. Uber. Got back, Uber. I don't know. It feels pretty heavy. You can't. Uh. Remember, quantum physics. It's in there until I open the pack. Yeah. So, who wants to buy this pack with uh with an Uber Rare in it? But you can't prove it's not in there. Until you open it. <laughs> Dude, it's like magic. It just disappeared. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Yep, it, it was gone, though. So who knows? We have Hime into Arthur Pendragon. Hey, there's our buddy. Hey, there we go. Another final forfeit. Dude, that card is so good. Target J Resonator for one green mana as an instant. Loses all abilities that cannot gain abilities until another turn. Fuck you, uh, imperishable. Fuck yeah. Me. Yeah. Oh, your dude had flying? No nope. more. Get in there, son. All right, so those are my two boxes. I'm happy with what I got. Sure, we didn't get um, Uber Ubers, but still something. We did get so, thank you very much, everybody. Peace. Peace.